Hey everyone, I'm just posting a quick video um, to make a review of the new Touche Amore and the Casket Lottery split 7 inch. I apologise for being so late to the party on this one, I had no idea it had been released and um, I love Touche Amore so if I'd have known I would have gotten straight on this. But anyway, this split consists of each band performing one new original track and also one cover. I'm not going to bother going through each band's history as I would like to save that for a full album review. Anyway, on to the music. To open this split, Touche Amore performed the track Whale Belly. Now, Touche Amore are a post hardcore band that I always view as lyrics with music. I always feel like the music fits the lyrics as opposed to the other way around like in most music. But anyway, the first thing I noticed as soon as I put this track on was the production quality was a lot rawer than most of their releases up to date. The track opens with some nice bursts of drumming with decent guitar work around it, before settling into a solid riff and a solid groove, and then Jamie just laying down his always really heartfelt, passionate vocals over the top of it. As the track gains momentum, the drums begin playing a blast beat for a nice portion of it. It has a very, very punk energy and vibe about it at this point in the track. One thing I noticed is throughout this whole track, and a lot of Touche Amore's music to be fair, the drums are very much the driving force behind the music. After this passes, another riff kicks in that carries the song to the end, with some very, very nice uh, drumming and some very nice guitar work, just mixing it up a little bit as well. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the track is just short of two minutes long and they still manage to pack this much detail into it. This is very, very typical of Touche Amore. They always seem to pack as much as they can into a really short amount of time, and it gives this feeling that it's constantly moving and constantly going somewhere, which I absolutely love. I think this song is a really, really solid Touche Amore song. My only gripe with it is I wish the vocals were turned up in the mix as the raw production sort of swallows the vocals a bit and as a result, they don't feel as powerful despite the fact that Jamie is still screaming at the absolute top of his lungs. Also, sadly, the lyrics weren't quite as audible, and I actually really, really like the lyrics, so it's a bit of a shame. Now, Touche Amore's cover was a slightly odd one. They have gone for Unsatisfied by The Replacements, who were an 80s punk rock band. I must admit, I actually really enjoyed this cover. I didn't really expect to either, um, so I'm not the biggest Replacements fan. But they sped it up slightly and altered it to their own sound, and I think it sounded really, really great. It gave a whole new look on the song, and I just really think it's what a cover should be. Now, the other band on this split, The Casket Lottery, I know very little about, and I admittedly came to this split for Touche Amore's side. However, the track they wrote for this split is a track called White Lies, and at first, it managed to really impress me, actually. It's an indie rock song with some punk influence, um, and it has a very subtle dream pop atmosphere around it and feel to it that I actually really, really dug. Also, the track has a really, really nice chorus, and it sounded great at first, but I must admit, after a couple of listens, it sort of lost its appeal, and the chorus didn't sound as great as first time. And in the end, you got a fairly average verse chorus verse chorus indie rock song that had some nice layers and subtleties to it, admittedly. The Casket Lottery's cover was Myth by Beach House, which was only released this year. I found that kind of odd because they covered something so new after Touche Amore's replacements cover, but that really doesn't matter a great deal. I must admit though, I wasn't feeling this cover as much as the previous one, I felt they did very little to change the song, and it felt more like a tribute, which is perfectly fine, it just didn't offer me a new take on the song, or anything necessarily interesting. On the whole, I felt like this was a really nice little split, in which I felt Touche Amore's side was definitely stronger, but it was, in it was interesting to hear the casket lottery, and I'll keep an eye on them, because I really liked that sort of subtle atmosphere they had about their song with their sound. It was really quite nice. Ultimately, for the reasons above, I'm going to give this split a 6 out of 10, for it was solid, enjoyable little listen, just four tracks long. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos I have been posting, and I'll catch you next time.